Welcome to the Mindfulness Meditation Podcast. I'm your host, Dawn Eshelman. Every Wednesday at the Rubin Museum of Art in Chelsea, we present a meditation session led by a prominent meditation teacher from the New York area. This podcast is a recording of our weekly practice. If you would like to join us in person, please visit our website at rubinmuseum.org meditation. We are proud to be partnering with Sharon Salzberg and the teachers from the Interdependence Project. In the description for each episode, you will find information about the theme for that week's session, including an image of a related artwork chosen from the Rubin Museum's permanent collection. And now, please enjoy your practice. So Kate is our teacher today, and uh, it's great to have her back. She teaches mindful yoga in New York City public schools and Buddhist meditation at the Interdependence Project. She holds a BFA in dance from the Alvin Ailey School at Fordham University and an MA in performance studies from NYU. She's trained at Spirit Rock Meditation Center, the Interdependence Project, Laughing Lotus, and the Presencing Institute. And she's working on a book right now about Waking Up to Power and Oppression as a Spiritual Practice, which will be published in the fall of 2017 by Parallax Press. Please welcome her back, Kate Johnson. Hey, good afternoon. Um, it's nice to be back here. And um, yeah, working with this theme of gratitude, which um, you know, turning towards that feels a little bit uh, refreshing for my heart and mind um, at this moment in time. Um, I was talking with Dawn a little bit before the, the meditation and around this idea of um, you know, working with a theme like gratitude, even when um, there might be um, difficulty for us individually during the holiday season or difficulty for us um, kind of collectively, um, socially and politically, um, that uh, you know, in, in most of my life, I work with um, students in public schools. I work with teachers, um, some uh, activists and organizers, and um, people who do service. And um, how easy it is uh, for all of us to get um, uh, flooded at times. Um, so it's really a practice that invites us into a balance of attention um, and a shift from kind of an obsession with getting what we want to. Uh, of shifting and, and allowing us to be, um, I guess, a shift from trying to get what we want to a shift to uh, wanting what we have um, and the ability to appreciate what we, what we have, um, to actually notice what we have. Um, so I was excited to be sitting under the, um, the goddess uh, Vasudhara and, um, you know, this embodiment of the earth and the fertility of the earth and the support of the earth. Um, and it made me think that it might be good to talk a little bit about the relationship between gratitude and generosity. Um, certainly when I look at the earth and what it provides and what it um, patiently withstands, <laughs> um, it seems like just the um, most incredible expression of generosity I could think of, right? The um, kind of abundance of the seasons, the um, uh, generous um, and kind of patient offering of resources um, and beauty. And so to reflect on what, um, just like the, the goodness of the earth itself and all that um, I've gained from it uh, brings up in me this feeling of gratitude, of um, appreciation and of abundance that in turn allows me to feel uh, generous. Like this recognition of all that we've received and the feeling of having enough actually can be the ground for uh, giving. And um, certainly we've seen that you know, recently um, in places like uh, Standing Rock where um, Thousands of people, you know, indigenous people, but um, also um, allies uh, have shown up in this place to stand up in support of the earth, which can't speak for itself in the same way that we can. Um, and, uh, 
and many, many more people have, have shown support in other ways. Um, And so, uh, so today, the practice that or I was hoping to lead would include um, a contemplation of the, the generosity of the earth itself. Um, and we'd start actually by, um, by reflecting on um, our gratitude for just this um, earthly body that we have. <laughs> um, and uh, in all its imperfections, the, the, the gifts that it affords us. Um, this is what the Buddha talked about uh, sometimes as a practice that's called gladdening the mind. So kind of starting with a sense of um, appreciation for just the simple um, opportunity to be alive in this moment. Um, and then we'll shift into a period of time of working with the breath just as a way to gather and unify the attention and, um, and still the mind and heart. Um, and we'll conclude the practice today with a few uh, minutes of um, contemplation around uh, um, the generosity of the earth and uh, pulling up a sense of gratitude um, that might be a, a foundation for our own generosity. Um, does that sound okay? Okay. Um, so uh, I'll invite you to um, find your meditation seat if you haven't already um, started your practice. Letting your feet be flat on the floor if possible. Letting the hands rest. And these busy hands you can invite them to relax and settle um, on your lap or touching each other and folded. Letting the back be um, lifted and upward reaching. Um, and think about the back as being like the stem of a flower. So it's not rigid, but it's upward moving. Perhaps thinking of the head as easily balanced as a bloom is on top of a flower stem. And letting the, the seat and the legs be like roots that um, dive deep into the earth. We'll just shift the attention from one that is um, outward looking, where we spend most of our day getting our information and starting to tap into a sense of feeling, you know, what does it feel like to be in this body at this moment? Sensing the bones of the body. Sometimes called the earth element of the body. And letting this earth element, heaviness, solidity, structure, rest on the feeling of earth. You might notice the warmth of the body, the fire element of the body. All of the metabolic processes going on inside. Letting your 
mind rest on this fire element for a moment. Same element as the heat of the sun. Bringing your awareness to the water element of the body, the felt sense of the fluidity inside. The rivers and tributaries of our circulatory system. Letting your mind rest for a few moments with the water element. Turning your attention now to the air element of the body, the breath body. The inhalations and exhalations that energize all of our cells. This phenomena of breath that we share with all of life. turning with a sense of appreciation for this air element present in the body. And finally, um, reflecting on the element of space inside the body, how even though the body appears solid, that science tells us the body is actually mostly space. Seeing if it's possible with your awareness to sense into the spacious quality of the body. This is also an earthly quality. And before we turn to settle with the feeling of breath for a few minutes, just inviting you to um, 
and reflect on the miracle of this body and all of its elements, all of its functions with a sense of appreciation and gratitude. So certainly it's not always perfect. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it doesn't do what we want. Connecting with a sense though that this body just wants to be healthy and live. It's doing the best it can with that. So letting the innocence of that kind of warm our hearts. And then allowing your awareness to gather um, at the heart space, at the feeling of breath there. And we'll stay here for the bulk of the meditation today. As you breathe in, noticing what it feels like to breathe in. As you breathe out, noticing what it feels like to breathe out. And you can actually say to yourself, breathing in and breathing out as a way to encourage the mind to stay with that experience. so that it has a chance to gather and settle. And from time to time, the mind will get a little fuzzy or wander to consider something else. And when it does, just bring it back to feeling whatever breath you're on with a sense of appreciation, as if this is a gift that we receive every few moments. And practicing appreciating what we have in this gift of this one breath, all that's possible because of it.
Every so often, refreshing our attention on the breath, our willingness to feel it, our attitude of gratitude and appreciation. This delicate line of breath that connects us to our life. You don't have to worry if you miss a couple breaths in there. Just try not to miss this one. And in these last uh, five or six minutes of practice, I'll guide a contemplation of um, the elements as they appear in outside the body um, and an opportunity to appreciate them. So we're moving the awareness again and first bringing your attention to the um, ground element of the earth itself. Mm -hmm. 
We forget that we're on this big globe, hurtling through space, <laughs> hugging us gently with the force of gravity. Just taking a moment to um, bring your awareness and appreciation to the vastness of this um, land mass. that we're sitting on now. Produces food, supports homes, cycles of birth and growing and aging and dying just to be born again the next spring. letting a sense of appreciation and gratitude for the ground itself arise. And then reflecting for a few moments on the generosity of the fire element, the um, heat that's heating up this building, the um, warmth of the sun. Perhaps a sense of wonder and appreciation for this fire element. In our world. Considering now the water element, it's become such a precious resource. Letting that preciousness be a, a source for gratitude and appreciation. You can't get very far without water. Considering the rains, considering the rivers and oceans. Snow-peaked mountains. Puddles. Taking a moment to appreciate the air element, the um, delicate ozone layer and the particular composition of air that makes it possible for all of life to keep living. Appreciation for this. And considering space, the vastness of the universe, the space within each element that we think is solid, sense of appreciation and wonder at the, the element of space.
And then just reflecting on the last half hour of practice, if there are any moments that you can recall um, feeling this sense of gratitude well up in relationship to your own body, in relationship to your breath, in relationship to the wonders of this planet that we inhabit. reflecting on this gratitude as a form of love. As a platform for a feeling of generosity. You know, see if there's any um, kind of naturally arising ideas or inspirations, ways that you'd like to return the generosity of the earth. or gifts of time or attention or action. Seeing if anything comes up. And then go ahead and let that contemplation kind of dissolve and perhaps taking a few deep breaths, um, taking this last moment or two of practice to just appreciate yourself for um, your uh, time that you dedicated today to um, cultivating your mind and heart, the serenity, connection, and connecting with the wish that our practice together today really be of benefit to all beings. Um, imagining it rippling out to all beings everywhere. So thank you for giving that a try. It's a, um, it's a variation on the traditional uh, Theravada Buddhism practice around um, noticing the elements of the body and the elements of the earth and um, having the same root. Um, so I hope that was useful for you. Oh, thank you very much for your practice today. It was good to see you. That concludes this week's practice. If you'd like to attend in person, please check out our website, rubinmuseum.org meditation to learn more. Sessions are free to Rubin Museum members, just one of the many benefits of membership. Thank you for listening. Have a mindful day.